Hi everyone, my name is Nook Twila and I'm currently working for FXCM South Africa. Today we'll be doing an FXCM Plus walkthrough where we'll be going through FXCM Plus for us to be able to understand FXCM Plus as well. Before we go ahead, I just need to go through the risk disclaimer which is as follows. Past performance is not indicative of future results. Examples are displayed for illustrative purposes only and do not guarantee profits. Trading on margin can result in losses that may exceed your deposited funds. Please ensure that you fully understand the risk or seek investment advice if necessary. FXCM provides an execution only service. Any analysis, opinion, commentary, all research-based material contained in this presentation is for information and educational purposes only and is not intended to be an offer, recommendation or solicitation to buy or sell. Leverage is a double-edged sword and can dramatically amplify your profits. It can also just as dramatically amplify your losses. Trading foreign exchange with any level of leverage may not be suitable for all investors. The webinar, the webinar does not have regard to specific investment objectives. Financial situations and needs of any specific person who may receive it all videos are provided for educational purposes only and clients should not rely on the content or policies as they may differ with regards to the entity that you are trading with. Further, any opinions, analysis, prices or other information contained on this website is, for, is provided for educational purposes and does not constitute investment advice. FXCM will not accept liability for any loss or damage, including without limitation to any loss of profit which may arise directly or indirectly from use of or reliance on such information. Before we go ahead, I'd like to inform you as well, should you have any questions or require any assistance with anything, you are welcome to contact me. You can send, an, you can send your questions to the email as it, as it shows here below or you can send your questions as they show on, on the webinar chart which is on the right hand side. Okay, just to go ahead as well, FXCM Plus, you can be able to access it directly from our website. As it, this is our website, you can be able to click on login. As you can see, this is easy accessible. You can access the trading tools. There it is, FXCM Plus. You can click on it. One of the benefits of FXCM Plus, just to inform you, is that it helps you to maximize your trading experience as well, as we have two types of uh, trading uh, tools that you can use. We have what we call the trading signals and the technical analyzer as well. Before we go ahead, um, we're going to need your login details here which is your username, your account number and your password as well. So you can enter your account number here. And then you'll just click on sign in. Okay. As you can see here, we have three options here. We have which, what we call our trading signals and our technical analyzer and trading, and trading anal analytics. So we're going to click on the trading signals. That is what we will go through first and then we will move along to the other ones as well. As you can see here, these are our trading signals. As you can see here, they are filtered by time and they also can be filtered by currency as well. So here it shows you all the trading signals organized by time. As you can see here, it shows you the time it was issued, it shows you the type of trade it is, and it also shows you um, the entry level as well. 
So let's just click on one of them for us to be able to see how it looks. Let's click on this one. The buy, possible change shift in the Euro USD. So this is where you, you buy. So it shows you the time it was issued, as I said, and the status here, it's written that it's open. So you can still place a trade based on this trading signal. It shows you the entry level. So this is where you'll enter your entry level. And this is your stop loss as well. There's no limit on it. So as you can see here, it also shows you the reason why this signal was issued. So the signal was issued because of our speculative sentiment index has hit its most extreme negative level for the past trading hours. As you can see here, so they show you the reason why this trading signal was issued for you to be able to understand the main reason for this specific trading signal. Let's click on another one. Let's click on sell. The AUDJPY, as you can see here. So this is the time it was issued, and it also shows you the status that it is still open. The entry level, as you can see here, it's stated, and the limit as well, and the stop loss, as you can see here. So you have more information also on it. As you can see here, so this is where it is shown by time. Let's go to when it is filtered by currency. Just to also inform you that our trading signals, they are generated every now and then, 24 hours, as you can see the time, as it changes every now and then. So you can see the time when it was issued as well. Here it is where the currency pay it is here, it is filtered by the currency. So as you can see here, it is filtered here by currency alphabetical order. And then this is the currency pairs. Let's just click on one of them. On the Euro JPY, this is where you buy. As you can see here, it shows you when to enter the trade and when to search, set your limit and your stop loss as well. As you can see here, and I'd also like to inform you that our, our trading signals are also merely based on the speculative sentiment index as well. Okay, let's go to the sell option. USD, CHF, as you can see here, it shows you when to enter the trade. And this is the limit, and this is the stop loss as well. Okay, and also another thing, what we have, we call a watch list. So a watch list, as you can see here, it is empty. A watch list, it is where you can be able to keep track of your favorite or keep a close eye on, on, on the currency pace that you'd like to keep a uh, in contact with. So let's just click on one of them just here, just add to watch list. So we've added it to the watch list. Let's just add another one as well. So there it is. Let's go to my watch list. So here it shows you the currency pairs that you'd like to keep tabs on. So this, So this is just one of them. You are able to add and remove them as well. Okay, you can be able to remove it as well. And then we can also go to our signal history. So our signal history, it shows all the closed trading signals. Let's just click on one of them. So as I said earlier on that the status, it was open. So now the status here, it is closed. So you're able to see all the, so here it also only shows the closed trading signals. So here it can be used for uh, background information or source of reference before you place a trade. So as you can see what had happened in the past as well. As you can go below here, this is the entry level and this is the limit. As you can see here, there's no limit and this is the stop loss as well. Okay, let's just go to the other one. Okay, as you can see here, it is also closed and it was issued as you can see the date here. So you can use this as a mere uh, source of reference and also background information about a specific currency pay. Okay. Moving along from our trading signals, we're going to go to our technical analyzer. Okay. As you can see here, this is what we call the technical analyzer. So with the technical analyzer, you're able to analyze the market. So it will show you, as it, as it shows here, it is grouped as instruments. Here it shows you all the instruments, which is Forex. As you can see here, all the currency pairs. It also shows you the commodities as well. Let's just click on it. 
here it shows you all the commodities and here it also shows you the indices as well okay there it is so you can be able to look at your favorite instruments let's go back to the forex let's just go ahead as you can see here it shows you as here it is grouped all types of forex as you can see we have uh, ideas for popular forex shows you all the popular forex and here we can also be able to see the ideas for exotic forex as well as you can see and we can also look at the G7 forex as well as you can see here okay let's just go to all forex so that you can be able to go through them one by one so here we have let's just look on at the NZD USD the first one as you can see here we also have what we call the graphical representation of what is happening here this is the theory side of it, of it and this is the practical side of it so let's just go through it as here it shows you the pivot point and it also shows you our preference and it also shows you the alternative scenario so the first scenario is actually our preference should this scenario not take place this is where the alternative scenario will take place as you can see here this is the alternative scenario and you can also see the comments as well you can also look at the RSI the RSI shows you it also shows you the indicator that was used here it also shows you the supports and the resistance as well that are used so as you can see this is information that is generated that was uh, generated by the trading central as well so as you can see here this is the theory side of it and let's go up and just look at the practical side of it so as you can see uh, this is the pivot point as it is represented in a blue line and we can also see our preference as well so this is our preference and then should the should this not uh, take place which is our preference then the alternative scenario shall take place as well as you can see here this is the alternative scenario and this is our first scenario and then here we also have um, the graphical representation of the indicator that is used as you can see here this is the RSI so you're able to also uh, compare it also to the indicator that was used so this is the RSI as well let us click on the other one which is the Euro JPY as you can see here the Euro JPY as you can see here this is the pivot and this is our preference this is the first scenario and the first scenario should it not take place then the alternative scenario will take place and then this is our alternative scenario and also this is the comment as well so let's just look at the above one so as you can see this is the pivot and this is also our preference which is the first scenario should the first scenario not take place as you can see here there it is this is our first scenario as you can see that the first scenario actually took place and this is our alternative scenario here it is below and also you can see the direction line as well and also we have the alternatives I mean we also have the comment as you can see the comment is the RSI shows upside momentum this is the RSI as it shows the upside momentum as well okay and also see the support and the resistance that were used in this graphical representation as well Okay, as you can see here also we have what we call the search box so you're able to, to search for a specific um, currency pair probably if there are a lot of currency pairs and you can't get hold of them let's just search for one let's say USD um, let's just say JPY as you can see so this is also made for you to be able to easily navigate through the technical analyzer as well let's move along to our commodities okay so as you can see here here these are our commodities and this is the graphical representation which the research was done by our trading central as you can see here it also shows you the time when the when the analyzer was actually issued as well this is the time 
let's look here this is the gold spot and then it say that the gold spot may fall let's just look at that this is the pivot point and this is our preference this is the scenario which is our most favored outcome but should this not prevail then the alternative scenario will take place as you can see here this is our preference and then should we scroll below and then this is our alternative and then should they not take place this is where the alternative scenario will take place then as you can see here this is the comment it says that the RSI is mixed to bearish as you can see here this is the RSI representation as you are able to see the representation graphically of the comment below and then we can also see the support and the resistance as well that were used here okay let's move along to the crude oil here it says that the crude oil may fall as you can see here this is the pivot point and this is also our preference should this not take place then our alternative scenario will take place as well as you can see and this is the comment as well so you're able to see the representation of the comment which says that the RSI advocates for further decline as you can see here as it shows here what has been said and then it also shows you the pivot point it also shows you the alternative scenario and uh, our scenario our most, our most favored outcome as well it also shows you the support and the resistance so for you to be able to understand uh, the practical side of it you also need to know the theory side of it and also the other way around for you to be able to understand the theory side of it you should also be able to understand the practical side of it okay let's go to the other one which is the silver spot this is the last one as you can say that the silver spot may fall this is the pivot as you can see it is in a blue line as it goes across and we also have our preference which is our first scenario and this is our alternative scenario as well should the first scenario not take place then the alternative scenario will take place and this is the comment it says that the RSI is bearish and calls for further downside as you can see here the comment is also represented it graphically and also the support and the resistance as well that were used okay we want to move to our indices okay so as you can see here we have different types of indices as you can see we have the Dow Jones we have the Nasdaq the Hang Seng as well okay and then we're just gonna go through them let's just click on um, the DAX so here they say that the DAX may rise okay as you can see here this is the pivot and it also shows the preference which is the first uh, scenario should this first scenario not take place then the second scenario will take place this is the alternative scenario which is the second scenario and the, our preference our most favorite outcome is this one should it not take place then the alternative scenario will take place and this is the comment as well the RSI is bullish and calls for further advance as you can see here it is represented here which is the comment which is the RSI the indicator that was used it also shows that and it also shows the supports and the resistance that were used in this graphical representation as well okay let's move to the other one the S&P 500 okay as I said it also shows you the time when it was issued and let's just scroll below as you can see here this is the pivot and also shows our preference should the this preference not take place then we have what we have which is the alternative scenario it also shows the RSI as it shows here the indicator that was used the RSI calls for a new a plague let's just see as you can see here it is and this is the practical side of the theory side here as it shows here so it shows you our pivot point as you can see here it also shows you our scenarios as you can see here as well okay we want to move along let's just go to the other one let's click on the Nasdaq okay okay let's just look at the Nasdaq as you can see here this is the RSI 
and we have what we have here which is the pivot and we also have our preference as well and our alternative scenario and the indicator that is used. The pivot point as, it, as I said here is it is indicated with the blue line and then we have our alternative, I mean our preference which is um, it shows here our most favored outcome and should it not take place we'll have an alternative scenario and as you can see the indicator that was used and it also shows here it is graphical representation of it as well okay just before we move along I'd also like to inform you that should you have any questions you're welcome to send your questions via email to my email address that showed earlier on and you're also welcome to um, send your questions via the chat window that appears on the webinar right hand side of it okay we're gonna move to our trading analytics Okay, this is also a new added feature as you can see here. It shows the trading analytics as it says here it is a tool that displays past performance through analytical charts and tables. So, uh, so for you to be able to uh, set up or, or set a trade, you need to also be able to know the past performance before you can set your trade or set up your trading plan as well. Past performance is the, the important because they help you in predicting the future as well. So they can be able to assist you when you set up your trades here. So as you can see here, it shows you the account. Okay, it also shows you the performance details based on your account as well. So it is a summary of your account as well. As you can see here, it shows you the account number, it shows you when the account started and it shows the current date of the account which is the last time you had traded if I'm not mistaken and we also have the performance de details. So the performance details is reference list of key statistics on your account. The section provides a big picture overview of the past performance as well. So you're able to see all your performances as well. As you can see this is the graphical representation of it as it shows you from which year to which year and to the current date and it also shows you your equity as well. So here this is the account statistics. So it's like a summary, it's like a statement of your account. So you're able to see all your deposits, your withdrawals and also your transfers as well. As you can see here, it also shows you your, your, your gross uh, P&L. As you can see here, it also shows you the percentage of your profitable trades as well. As you can see here as well. Okay, we're going to move along to the percentage returns. So we're going to look at the returns based on your performance on your account. So as you can see here, so it's showing you from 2013, 2014 throughout till 2017, the current date. So it shows you even according to the month and the total as well, which is according to the year. Okay, and you also be able, you are also able to see to look at the monthly analysis as well. So it's a monthly salary. Uh, when when was the best month and when was the the worst month where you had lost and you made gains? And it also shows you the average of the returns as well, as you can see here as well. Okay, we're going to move along to the symbol analysis. So here it's the symbol analysis. I will look at all the symbols. It's looking at the history of the symbols that you had used. So for example, this was going to show the profitable per symbol. So the profits that you had made per symbol that you had set. For example, the Euro USD and the symbol here, let's just say it was going to show the profit that you had made out of that specific symbol. As you can see here, we're going to move along yet again to our time analysis. The, tech, the trading analytics is actually a new, as you can see, it has been added on just recently. So it is a new feature. So this also helps you in making your trades as well and setting up your trades as well. So it gives you a better view of what had happened in the past for you to be able to know what had happened in the future as well. As you can see here, it looks, it looks at the time analysis as well. As, it, as you can see here and you can also look at the trade duration and analysis so you can also look at that so look it will show you the trades the total volume and the net uh, profit and loss and the average and should you have any rollovers as well okay 
Okay, and this is the risk reward. Okay. As you can see here, the risk reward. As you can see here, it shows you the risk the risk that you have taken up and the rewards that you have received as well. Okay, I can see that we do have a question. Let me just open it. Okay, are you trading on a 30 minute a chart? Okay, this was from one of uh, the people who are currently um, tuned into the webinar as well. Okay, uh, just to say a few words, just to inform you about it, I'd just like to tell you that, um, so it also depends, you are able to, 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 to set uh, how many minutes you want your chart to be. So it also depends on you as well as an individual as well. And then another question is, you're also on the Bollinger Bands and want moving average as well. So you'll be able to look at the moving average as well based on the Bollinger Bands as well. As you can see here, I hope I've answered your question. Should you have any more questions, you are welcome to send me an email on my email address which I had showed earlier on. Okay. I believe I have answered all questions. Any more questions? Okay, seems like that is it. And then should you have any other questions, you are welcome to send me an email and have direct communication with me. Okay, I think that is it for now. And then should you have any questions, as I said, you can send me an email. And yet another thing as well, hope to see yet again every Thursday for us to do the FXCM walkthrough yet again. Thank you for your time. Have a great evening. Thank you. Bye.